first day at work and it's snowing look at that look at that look at that <laughs> This is me. <laughs> I'm wearing this. My shoes. My shoes. And my jacket. And then my winter jacket. Yep, yep. Snowing very heavily. How do I look? Simple, right? <laughs> So guys, what's the time? This is like, uh, this is 3 o'clock, this is 3 p.m. It's been snowing all day and what did I do? I came in, I met my line manager, we did induction, we had team meeting, she took me for lunch, we did a campus tour, it was snowing. Lunch was good, she paid for my lunch and um, so they have a discount for staff and students so instead of about eight pounds when you present your staff card the food is about four pounds something so she paid for that it was a good lunch i had rice i had veggies chicken salad and all of that and we came back i had a meeting with my hiring manager which is like the head of all of us all of the you know the everybody in the team heads the team and then i had a meeting with him and then i continued with my induction i've gotten like three different emails from hr requesting for documents is a lot my head like this is hot my head is hot <laughs> so i'm tired i'm just sitting here i want to complete this form send it back to the payroll people hr before I go back into my office because this was the meeting room that we stayed to have the meeting. Small, small meeting room. My office is literally directly opposite. So once I'm done with this form, I'm going to send it and I can't wait for 5 p.m. to come because this is my head. It's hot. I'm tired. Hey guys, so this is what I want to work. Yes, I'm back now. I have this for you guys. <laughs> so I started work on Wednesday. Today is Friday. So it's like first work week over. I got my login details, I got my ID, my staff ID. Oh, so many things to read. Hey, my head wants to bust. Everything in this world, I finished reading. Not like everything in this world, but there are so many things to read. My line manager has been so helpful. Like, everyone has been so nice. So, um, I think I gave you guys a breakdown of day one. So, on day one, I had, um, okay, there was a team meeting. I first met my line manager and then there was a team meeting. My line manager is the one that is actually doing the induction for me. So she had a long list of all the things she was she wanted to cover. So we used to meet like 30, 30 minutes interval. So we met like maybe, okay, the first day was one, one hour interval. So we met in the morning, we now took a break, went on team, we had a team meeting. And then we met in the afternoon, took a break, went for lunch. I think we met in the evening and then the following day on thursday we met 30 30 minutes each we met like 9 30 to 10 1 30 to 2 and then i think 5 p.m to 5 30. 
And then today, Friday, we also met. We met, okay, we only met once today. But today, Friday, I had like say five meetings. I met the team member that was in my position because he got promoted. So I was now, I'm now in his position. So I met him. He told me all the things. You know, I was asking him, how do you do the work? When work is assigned to you, how do you go about it? How do you start? He gave me his own tips. I met a, another line manager in my sub team because we have like different line managers, right? But and then we have the bigger team, then we have sub teams, okay? So we now met another line and not like another line manager, another manager because <laughs> I have just one line manager. So I met another manager in my sub team. Ah, she was so helpful. She brought a different insight, a different perspective. Oh my god, I really enjoyed chatting with her. The thing is, each time I chat with a different team member, it is a whole different experience. It's so interesting. I really, really enjoyed chatting with her. Most of these meetings were shared for 30 minutes. But sometimes we were able to, like we were speaking for more than 30 minutes because the conversation was just very interesting. Usually they will first get to know you, like, oh, where are you coming from? What were you doing before now? Because they want to see how your previous experience fits into what you're going to be doing and how they can best support you. Oh, oh today was really interesting. You guys, when I left in the morning, I had just yogurt and granola. That's perfect. Then I had coffee. See, this was my school bag. So... I had coffee here. I prepared my own coffee because I'm not gonna be giving Starbucks nine pounds or eight pounds every day. Never. We are here to save money. So I made my own coffee here. That's what I drank literally all day. I actually carried this yogurt so I can take a snack, but I wasn't that hungry. I didn't even take a break today, so I just I didn't use it. I'm going to I just had dinner actually, but I'm going to just still eat the yogurt as my night snack because it's not that late. I think this is just to seven. I left work by five, ten minutes past five. I walked a bit because I went somewhere else to take the bus. I had missed, in fact, there's just two. Hey, I didn't even know where to start. Okay, let me continue with my day. And then I can tell you, I can tell you <laughs> the drama that happened all day. So I'm going to finish with work. When I finish with work, I'll not tell you the drama of the rest of the day. I had a meeting. Okay, after that meeting with them and the other manager, I now had another meeting with my line manager. By the time I had that meeting, I had a lot of questions to ask my line manager based on all the documents I was reviewing. And then after that meeting with my line manager, I had another meeting, another meeting with another person in my similar role. So and then after that meeting i had another meeting with the senior the senior manager the one that manages all the teams in the department uh -huh. that one was also very interesting and long he was giving me feedback from my interview the areas that they were very impressed he said that the questions in, <laughs> he said that one of the factors that was very intriguing about me was the questions i asked at my interview that there were questions that you know would leave an impression would always make them remember me that that really captured the guys do you know that my interview lasted for like 45 minutes and then there was a task okay and there was a task before the interview that i did for 45 minutes and then the the interview three panels interview lasted for 30 minutes and the one thing that really stood out for them was the questions i asked <laughs> my god so he was saying that the questions i asked showed that i had done research about the role i was already thinking of the maybe the challenges i would face or how to make how to work in a more effective way that it really made me stand out that also the skills that they needed i was able to demonstrate it and it was like it was just giving me really nice feedback for the interview and then he was now telling me about his own role how he supervises and if i had any questions so Apart from all the meetings, it was just emails back and forth with HR because they are still they finished the documentation today. Today is Friday and they needed to finish all the documentation so that I can be paid for the month. Because today is Friday, 10th of the month. And because I started on the 8th, Wednesday, 
the the so the agent had said that if I don't bring all my documentation, that's all my passport, my BRP, my right to work share code and everything, that I need to finish it today so that they can add me to the payroll. So I went to call in my staff ID from the HR. They had printed it, did everything. And what else? And then I was now also like responding to emails because my line manager was sending me a lot of emails with a lot of documents. So I was downloading, saving, and going through the ones I had. That was how work was. So it was very interesting. Now let me tell you guys the gist of the day. <laughs> okay. So it's time for gist now. So the gist is that, hmm, my people, before I went to bed last night, I had checked the bus and I saw that the bus from my house. There's no bus station around my house, so I have to walk five minutes to the nearest bus station. And I had seen that the bus from my house leaves at 8.20, no, 8.30 a.m. And that bus is going to take me directly to the nearest bus stop to my workplace. And then when I come down, I will walk for 11 minutes to the office. I was fine with that, right? I was like, oh, okay. And then on Google Maps, it's showing that to walk from my house to the bus station was six minutes. So I was like, if the bus comes at 8.30 and I am to walk for six minutes, right? I need to leave my house at 8.24, right? However, I was like, I'm going to leave my house by 8.20 just so that everything will be fine. Guys, I woke up by 6.30. I woke up by 6.30. I showered. I showered. I... I took a little rest i did my devotion and hey i spoke to my friend on the phone i don't know if it is the call on the phone because even when i was on the phone i was still doing getting ready packing my bags right but i don't know what happened i said let me make up small this yeah yeah makeup here will just powder just the foundation and powder and lip gloss oh hey guys do you know when i left my house I left my house by 827. <laughs> it wasn't even drizzling this morning. If you see the way I was running, like something that I don't know. <laughs> That's how I left my house by 827. Is it is it three minutes that will take me to the bus station? When Google Maps says you are walking for six minutes, just give yourself 10 minutes. That's how I left the house by 827. By the time I did like this, it was already 830. I knew. I knew that I had missed the bus. I did not now know what to do. And the funny part is when I, when you miss that bus, the next time the bus is coming is, 20, is 30 minutes. And if I had gotten the bus, taken the bus by 8.30, I would have gotten, gotten to the office by 8 to 8.57. Work starts at 9. I had a meeting by 9.30. So if I miss the bus by 8.30, it will take another 30 minutes for the bus to come, which is 9 o'clock. That means I'm going to get to the office by 9.30. Hey God, hey, wahala. 9 30 is too late because resumption is 9 o'clock. Anyways, I shall enter the next bus that I saw. I didn't even know what to do. I entered the next bus that I saw and I started requesting for Uber. Uber did not. I didn't say driver. So the bus I entered had like maybe 15 stops because it, it was the second bus I entered was going to go to the town center before i now have to take another bus that will go back to school and that journey was going to take me one hour so the projected time of arrival for work was like 9 40 a.m <laughs> i was like no 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 <laughs> this is not a good impression at all this is not gonna work that's why i was requesting uber was requesting uber from what when i get to this bus stop i start requesting uber it will not work i'll now put like three bus stops away i start requesting uber like three bus stops as a pickup point i start requesting uber it will not work uber will not answer me there are no drivers god so help me after like six seven stops god help me i now found uber the way i came down in a hurry hey <laughs> i came down in a hurry i waited at the bus stop uber now picked me up i was so happy the uber guy now picked me up i got to school like 9 11 a.m <laughs> And my senior, that senior manager was there. Immediately I entered, like he was waiting for me. Immediately I entered, he started talking to me about all the things we were supposed to talk about. So, that was a drama in the morning. If I did not see that Uber, aha. The funny part is that there was no money in my account. I think there was just about nine pounds. My light wants to go off, I don't know why. It was just about nine pounds in my account. 
And when I was requesting the Uber, the first one, because it was further, was like 11 pounds. So Uber says, I don't have enough money to request. I almost fainted. So I now waited as the bus moved further and further and further closer to my destination. I now requested again. Uber was now like eight pounds something. I now requested. The Uber guy was very funny. He shot took me to work. He was fine. On my way back home, when I was leaving the office, I did not check the bus route to the closest bus stop because I have to walk like 10 minutes to the nearest bus stop because I'm going to the house, right? I did not check the bus route. So I just carried my bag. By 5 10 and left the office i started walking towards the bus stop <laughs> ha it was now when i checked the bus route and the schedule and also that my bus had left though that the next one is coming in like 30 minutes or not even 30 minutes like 45 minutes though hey well, google maps was now telling me that eh, i should walk for for 13 minutes to another bus stop well do i have a choice my t bus ticket was on my phone and my phone was four percent i was using google maps <laughs> ha the things that have happened to me in this town <laughs> so me i was scared that ah, what if i start going to that bus stop my phone will now off how will i pay for my ticket because i don't even have cash my card there's no money inside so i bought my bus ticket for the week on my phone so that's where my ticket is <laughs> hey drama that's how i now started working the thing is the bus app was saying that the distance is 17 minutes google walk 17 minutes walk google said the distance is 13 minutes walk <laughs> the bus the bus app said the 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 bus was coming by 5 39 Google app said the bus was coming by 5.35. <laughs> so I now started walking. I started almost, that walk was long. It was long. Like, as I was walking, I was like, what kind of life is this? <laughs> I was saying, what kind of life is this? <laughs> so, my people, so I was not like, mm, maybe the bus time is 5. 39 when i now go by when i walked by 5 30 i was five minutes away so i was like google says the bus comes by 5 35 the bus app says the bus comes by 5 39 let me shall hurry up and get there by 5 35 just in case my people that's how i was going 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 i was walking very fast i got to the bus station um, but i was just looking at the i was i had to cross the road right so i was looking at the bus station across the road the bus was already standing there by 5 34 and me i didn't even know that that was the bus because the bus is orange i didn't even know that that was the bus i just saw my destination written on the buses um on the side of the bus because i didn't see i was still trying to confirm if that's the bus stop because i was coming from the side i wasn't coming from the front so i didn't really see the name of the bus stop when i just saw that it is the same bus color and the destination is written there. I didn't see the bus number. I just knew that that's the bus. And I was across the road. There was traffic. Ah, <laughs> and my phone was almost going off. I had to now go out of Google Maps, go and open the app to retrieve my ticket. I tried to cross the road in a hurry to go and get the bus. That's how I shall have met the bus last lap. So I crossed. I didn't even check if that was the bus station. I shall know that that's the bus color and the destination. So I shall enter. I opened the app. Oh, thank God my phone did not go off. Otherwise, I'll not go get ticket. <laughs> I opened the app and now entered. Ah, my people. Usually when you enter the bus, there is a screen that will be displaying every stop. This bus did not display any screen. I think the screen was bad. And they were not announcing. In fact, they don't announce any stop. It's only in trains that they announce stop. And in London buses. But this bus did not announce any stop. And the screen was bad. And I was sitting at the back. So each time the bus stops at a bus stop, I don't know what bus stop that is. And my phone is low. My phone is, I think my phone even went off. I didn't even know which bus stop is which. <laughs> ah, the thing that happened to me today, that's how I shot. I was just looking everywhere to make sure that I, if I recognize the bus stop. Okay, my phone did not go off. So what I now did, but by the time I now started putting the location again, the bus route and oh, my light has gone off so i have to finish this video now 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 by the time i now opened the location 
Google had, of course, I have moved from the location, so Google is now giving me different bus numbers and different routes. Anyways, I was just looking at the road, looking at the road, looking at the road, until I luckily I was able to recognize the bus stop at Kingdom. That is the end of my story. My people, it was such a dramatic day, and a, but it was a blissful week. It was interesting. It was an interesting work week, like you know, start first week at work everything was fine including all the drama but yeah we made it <laughs> okay guys thank you for watching i'll catch you guys in my next video let me know what you think in the comment section <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you are here too bye